at a time when both governments of Assam and Meghalaya are working to find an amicable solution to resolve the border row between the two states. President of the Hill State People's Democratic Party, or HSPDPK, plus Thingwell Pangyang has urged that both governments should move forward in resolving dispute in more sensitive areas such as Langpi. Now, speaking to the media, Pang Niang said that while the two states had decided to resolve the border issue by identifying six less complicated areas in the first phase, both state governments must quickly shift focus to other six areas which include Langpi, Block 1 and Block 2 which are sensitive areas. Now, he further added that the discussions to resolve the dispute in Langpi area should begin by early next year. More so because both chief ministers had visited the area. Of the sector in West Kasi like Langpi and others like Block 1 and Block 2 is yet to be taken into initiative or into action. So we also urged the government of Meghalaya that Lumpy sector, since the two chief ministers of Meghalaya has paid a visit, just a visit, recently at Lumpy, that Lumpy sector should be taken at the earliest, just after the, you know, <coughs> the, 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 the completion of this uh, 2021, maybe in the in this coming new year, uh, that the government will take uh, uh, prompt action. The second phase of uh, the process of, self, of, of settlement of the boundary, uh, since the matter of Lampi is very sensitive. Now, Pang Niang further added that statements made by certain leaders and organizations of not giving an inch of land to Assam do not hold any significance as it is imperative to understand the ground reality first. He said that unless the constitutional boundaries and documents are taken into account, one cannot claim what should be given and not be given. So many leaders, either political leaders or NGOs, that while solving this long pending problem, problem or dispute, not even an inch will give it to us. So tell us now, or tell us, please tell me. First of all, we need to know the ground reality. We need to know the ground reality of those of so-called disputed. How to know that? We need to get evidence like a supported document. Let's go to the fact, not only fact, with the so-called constitutional documents, constitutional boundaries then we can say that need to give it or not to give it 